Hi guys, in this episode, we'll be taking this thing to bits and welding everything off. So I've arranged all the parts here that I'm going to work on. This here is the bottom swing arm. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I've got to weld it all up. And I've got some gussets underneath here. I need to put a mount to hold the caliper. This one here, I just need to weld it off, it's pretty simple. This is the linkage for the rear shock. I cut this off trying to make the shock fit, but it didn't work. This is the main frame, this is going to take the most amount of work. So I've got to mount the shock, weld all this up, cut a piece to fill that hole. And then this here is the foot peg assembly. So this is steel, I'm going to weld this up. So first thing I'm going to do is deal with the steel. the neck off this part of the frame because from the factory they drill out holes for the center stem I don't know why they do this but I have to block it up because it will fill up with fuel and there'll be fuel running down the forks so I've made this up oh well this One of the problems with welding aluminium is you've got to get all of the paint and stuff out. So I'm going to get some out of that hole so I can weld around this part and I've got to be careful not to burn into this bearing raise here. So I've got this little Dremel with a little wire brush so hopefully I can get in there. Okay, that's all welded off. It was a little bit stressful, but I did not burn through the inside bearing race, so that's good. Just gotta fill it up with water now, make sure there's no leaks. So I've been making some pretty good progress on this frame. Got some of it welded off. And I folded this piece up to be the tail section and drilled a, drilled a hole in this tube here to let the fuel through. So now I've got to weld this on.
well, the GoPro's almost flat. Um, I've got that tacked in there now. Bit of a gap there, but that'll fill up. So I'll weld this all off, and I'll get back to you once the camera's charged. So I've got the fuel tank all welded off. Um, this is, sounds really weird, but how I'm going to fill it up is I'm going to put the fuel down this tube here. It's not going to be on quite this angle, and that will fill all that up. The seat post will come up to about there. I'll have the end blanked off, and I'll have a breather that goes up to the handlebars. And the fuel is going to come out about there, from there to the carburetor. I had to cut the tube here and blank it off because I thought that this was would be sealed, but there's holes inside that hole up in there, which is really weird. And then I got all the uh, wiring, pulled the wiring off the other bike, and I'm trying to think about how much of it I actually need. I think all I need is the uh, CDI, the Spark Advance, I think. Definitely need this the coil. And I don't think I need all of this stuff. So I might wire this up and see if I can get a spark when I kick it over. Okay, so I've got the coil clamped off here, earthing out. I think this is the kill switch, so I keep that away. And look at this. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's sparking. So that's great. That's all the wiring I need to do. I was thinking I could hide this up here or something. Yeah, just got to figure out where to put all this stuff and put little tabs. I also like to strengthen the frame up back here. So I filled it up with water to check if our tank didn't leak. And there was a crack under here. Especially with this added weight, it's going to crack there again. So I'll need to make something like that. It goes there. Maybe I can put the coil up there. We'll see. Okay, so I've come up with a bit of a plan here. This uh, CDI box can go here and also act as a gusset. And then the coil can fit in there. So I've made aluminium, 3mm aluminium piece that's drilled and tapped. Weld that in there. So I think it's time to take it all to bits again and weld everything off. I ended up making another bracket for this because I didn't like it sitting there. So that's just going to sit there now instead. That'll be better. I'm still going to put this in though, however it goes, because I need a strengthening gusset in there. Well, everything's welded up now, all the tabs and everything. It's all watertight, I just tested it. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe.